everyone. And um, in the study of skin cancer, particularly melanoma, automatic and accurate segmentation as a crucial step in CAD provides a reliable basis for diagnosis. However, due to the variability of skin lesions in texture, shape, and complex boundaries, automatic and accurate segmentation is still a challenge. In this study, we propose a new automatic segmentation network for melanoma segmentation named Compact Attention Network, I mean CANNET. And we would introduce from four aspects, background and methods and experiments, finally conclusions. Cancer is one of the leading causes of human death. Skin cancer is one of the most common cancers. The majority of skin cancer deaths are caused by melanoma. Melanoma has been reported to grow at a rate of 7%. In recent years, deep learning has made remarkable progress in the field of computer vision. It has been widely applied in the field of image, and its effect is higher than the previous ASOTA performance, which provides inspiration for segmentation of skin lesions. And these are some very classic and effective segmentation networks based on deep learning. FCN, fully CNN. It expands the receptive field through the polling layer and the size of the image through up sampling. UNET. UNET is a very famous network and it can be treated with a small amount of data. Alpharsian, it uses the full spatial resolution of the input image to reduce the loss of information. NNUNET, and this is a improvement based on UNET and it could automatically configure itself. And we propose a compact attention network architecture without downsampling, different from common segmentation networks. Compared with these classic models, the CanNet achieves sort of performance in the task of melanoma segmentation. We propose a method for skin lesion segmentation, which uh, integrates the proposed new compact fully convolutional network with attention model, SCSC model, and data precise methods based on the features of the SCISIC dataset. Next, I will introduce some elements involved in the CanNet. Actual convolution maintains image resolution and computes with a high spatial resolution by inserting holes between pixels in convolutional kernels. The apparent advantage of dilated convolution is that it enlarges the size of receptive field without losing spatial resolution. And grading, grading issue. Stacking convolution layers 
with the same dilated rates would have an effect on the receptive field due to the grading issue. The receptive field from the same dilated convolution covers an area with non-zero values. An attention, attention mechanism, SASE model. Attention mechanism has achieved great success in image classification. Researchers apply attention mechanism in many fields. We apply SE, SE model as our attention mechanism to the segmentation, which makes the experimental results better. And finally, loss function. We design the loss function due to unbalanced data. Inspired by SVM, support vector machine, um, everyone know, and soft margin classification and large margin classification. The hinge loss function is used for the last layer of the network without any activation function. Network architecture. The proposed network consists of 13 layers of convolutions. The first four convolution layers use three times three pixel convolutions without arch um, dedicated convolution. Stacking two layers of 3 times 3 pixel convolution gives the same receptive fields as a convolutional kernel with 5 times 5 pixel convolution. But parameters of them are only about half of 5 times 5 pixel convolution parameters. The third and fourth layers uh, associated with the BN layers. The first four layers are designed to capture low-level features of the input image. In the subsequent eight convolution layers, each convolutional layer is associated with an Rillware, a BN layer, and a SASE layer, and as well as a attention mechanism. A SASE layer, and we can see it could get a more accurate calibrated feature map. The kernels are dilated by the design rates of 2, 3, um, 5, and 7, which not have a common factor relationship. Choosing proper rates can effectively expand the receptive field and avoid the grading issue. We use dilated convolution instead of the polling layer to effective effectively enlarge the receptive field without reducing resolu resolution. Due to the different size of melanoma, the rates of dilated resolutions are increased to incorporate features at multiple scales. When the layer goes deeper. Except for the last layer of our network, CanNet, every convolutional layer is associated with a ReLU layer. The final layer gives bin binary classification labels for every pixel. Data processing. 
The ISIC dataset has hair noise in some images, where N denotes a structural element. M is a region to erode whose pixel values are all one in binary image. It should be noted that N needs to define an origin. During the moment process of N, when the pixels of N are completely contained by N, the pixel of N covered by the origin of N is set to 1, otherwise 0. And we use three methods to um, for data The ISIC is a famous skin medical organization which collects a large number of skin images and provides annotation for these images. There are 2,000 skin images and the corresponding skin lesion area images in the training set. The ratio of training set set, validation set, and testing set is 43.12. The data set is a collection of real images, some of which have serious noise. There are some performance evaluation metrics such as sensitivity, accuracy, death scores. We conduct ablation, ablation experiments to prove the effectiveness of each element of the network. Our results show that the melanoma segmentation of the CANET is 91.7% in sensitivity and 90.7% in dice scores for the ISIC test dataset. Um, by the way, ISIC, I forget, uh, I forgot to tell that uh, ISIC means International Skin Imaging collaboration. The CANET exhibits better performance than FRCN, UNET, SEPNET, MARSCARCN, and NNUNET. And finally, Conclusions In this study, we propose a compact attention network architecture CANET and it uh, incorporates attention model SE uh, and designed dilated convolution for expanding the receptive field and um, it avoids the grading issue by the designed rates like 2, 3, 5, and 7. And on the segmentation of the melanoma, the CANET architecture performs better than the UNET, SEGNET, FRCN, and NNUNET. It also worth noting that even in the noisy images, melanoma segmentation results are in good agreement with the ground truth. In the future, we will test the CANET segmentation ability in more datasets. Furthermore, we note that 
annotate spending too much time in medical images. We would try adopting a semi-automatic annotating method. The above issues would be regarded in our future research. And thanks for the support of Hunan Key Research and Development Program. Thank you. And thanks for listening.